Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen series. My name is Joost Oppelbaum and every Monday we post a new video about the personal top 3 pens of Penfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Most of the top 3 pens we post on this channel are from writers and collectors, but there are also many artists who use as fountain pens in their work. Take Eileen Goldenberg, for example. You may have seen her on Instagram under the name Eileen PG. She creates beautiful artworks and for that she often uses fountain pens. We thought it would be really cool to view the fountain pen from a different perspective. So we invited her to talk about her three favorite pens and why she chooses them to create art. After watching the video, check out her Instagram and make sure you pay a visit to her website, goldenbergdesigns.com. Hello, Eileen P. Goldenberg here, and I'm thrilled that Apple Boom Pens invited me to do this favorite, three favorite pens episode. Really exciting to be asked. So um, I'm a full-time artist. I live in San Francisco. Behind me are my, some of my paintings. I work in encaustic. I also do ceramics. I also make sketchbooks. I teach fountain pens for sketching and I'm an urban sketcher. So urban sketching is my main time thing now because um, I've had a lot of time lately, as we know. So I've had a lot of time to go out and urban sketch. And the reason that I love fountain pens is because I can sketch with them. So here's a couple of my sketches that I've done recently. These are all done in San Francisco. So it's watercolor and fountain pens. There's another one, it's the Conservatory of Flowers in San Francisco. And I also make abstract drawings like this. So these are done with fountain pens. I use some soluble inks on these to extend the lines. So these are all, all done. Every day I get up early in the morning and draw, and these kind of raggedy lines are made with some of my fountain pens. So that's why I love fountain pens. So I do have a lot of pens. This is just some of them that I use almost every day. So it was kind of hard to pick just three because as we know, we have a lot of fountain pens. But I did manage to think about the ones that I reach for mostly and that give me the most variation of line and interesting marks that I can make um, in my drawings. So the Opus 88s, now I know this is three, but I'm gonna count as one because I have three of them, but it's the same brand. So these are the demonstrator model of the Opus 88. And what I've done on these is I've taken out the nib and I've put in a pilot parallel nib and it's modified. So you can see it's got an angle on there and that gives me the possibility of drawing with the tip, drawing with the side of it and I can get some interesting lines by going fast, going slow. And the best thing about these pens too is this huge tank of ink. So when I'm out sketching for a few hours, it lasts. I don't have to worry about the ink running out, especially traveling all that so I have that one this one's got black uh, platinum carbon black ink permanent ink this is my flow which has an extra fine nib which I actually took out at some point and replaced the nib but this extra fine nib is so gorgeous and writes so well I put it back in so I use that for my line drawings and that also has a big tank of ink and then the last one I have is another one with a modified pilot parallel nib and this one has urban gray ink, which is a really amazing ink that changes color when you wet it. Really interesting um, ink. So that's what's great about these pens is I can take out the nib, it just unscrews, and I can install the pilot parallel nibs in these. And I've learned how to modify them and change the shape, which makes them very useful for me. The second one would be my Memento Zero. So this is the Postitano model this gorgeous blue marbled surface. This one has an extra fine nib as well. Beautiful nib, number six nib on this, writes beautifully, always writes every time. It's got a nice big converter in it, so that's nice for sketching as well. It doesn't run out too fast, but I just love this pen, gorgeous pen, really beautiful. And this one is my, third one is my Conklin Duragraph. So, this was a limited edition that I received that I got 
It's actually a birthday present. And this one has an extra fine nib, but it's a modified architect nib. So it's got a special nib on there. Uh, it's modified by Gina of Custom Nibs Studio. And it will give you a thicker line when you lay it kind of flat. And when you pick it up, it gives you a thinner line. And it also writes reversed really well. So I can get a really thin line on my drawings with this pen. So it actually, I feel like these pens have a multiple, multiple not line variation, which is great. And then the third nib, third pen, which I'm going to say honorable mention because I love this pen, is my giant Confucius Fude Duke 551. And this is a pen with a huge bent nib. You can see the size of that. So I can make a line with this that's almost a quarter of an inch thick by laying that nib down flat and going across. So this one, you go fast, you get a really beautiful line, variable, and you can also pick it up and draw with it with the tip. So those are my pens. Um, I will be at the San Francisco Pen Show this year teaching fountain pens for sketching, which I also teach on Zoom most of the time now, but I will be, we'll be teaching in person at the San Francisco Pen Show in August. And that's gonna be really fun. I look really forward to seeing everybody and getting to the pen show. And I do art fairs where I sell my paintings, my ceramics, my sketchbooks, which I make these fearless felt sketchbooks, which are felt with Fabriano watercolor paper and selling my artwork for, to all my customers and seeing everybody. So it's gonna be really fun now that we're getting back into things. Uh, San Francisco's pretty open. We're in the last stage of opening, so I'm really excited about that. So thanks for watching, and thanks so much for Just and Christine for asking me. I'm really thrilled that this is uh, happening, and have a great pen day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.